In this video over linear programming, I want to focus on the objective function and minimization. The two previous videos focused on maximization. We will go through uh, the example that I've provided uh, dealing with uh, uh, the production of fertilizer. And as I mentioned previously, that is in those other videos, <clears throat> is the first thing that we have to do is identify the objective function. Once we've identified the objective function and written it down, then we focus in on the constraints, i.e. identify the number of constraints, write them down. And after we've done those two things, then we can extract the function and the constraints on into the software. So from this particular uh, problem, as you read through it, <coughs> We know that uh, uh, ingredient one uh, costs three bucks and ingredient two costs five dollars. And this is all from the standpoint of minimization. We're producing the fertilizer and we want to be able to produce it from the standpoint of minimizing the expenditures or the cost of our production. So it's really a 180 from the standpoint of maximization uh, of our profits. So we have three dollars for one and five dollars for two as a cost factor. And then we were given that, in other words, uh, from the constraint standpoint, we have three constraints, right? Talks about nitrogen, phosphate, and potassium. So from that standpoint, it says, in other words, uh, uh, each one, nitrogen, in other words, must have at least 20. Uh, phosphate must have at least 36, and the potassium for uh, number two uh, would be uh, at least two. So, once again, focus in on reading the problem and then extracting from the problem, uh, as I mentioned, the function and the constraint. So let's, let's go through that particular problem. And uh, I'm going to be using a Mac uh, as opposed to a PC. So once again, we're there, uh, Excel, um, QM, I'm going to come down, linear programming, drop down menu, uh, number of constraints. Well, as indicated, we have three constraints this time, right? The nitro. Um, nitrogen, phosphate, and potassium. And we still have two variables, correct? Number one and number two. The objective function, well, it's minimization this time. Do okay. Uh, let me come in here, maybe increase uh, my view. Do 125. Okay, so we have this drop-down menu. And we have um, X1 and X2, and I'll just leave it there, number one and number two. Minimization, minimization. We know the cost, right, per pound. Happens to be $3 for number one and $5 for number two. Constraint one, let's just change that to nitro. Constraint two, constraint two, change that to phosphate, constraint three, we will change that to uh, potassium. Okay, so this is what we're given. This is what we're given in this particular problem. Is that, in other words, what what are we going to have? In other words, we we know that the minimum requirement minimum requirement for constraint nitrogen is twenty ounces. We know the constraint for phosphate happens to be 36 ounces. And then for our potassium, we're given 
two. So those are the minimum requirements. 20 ounces of nitrogen, 36 ounces of, excuse me, of phosphates, and two ounces of potassium. And again, all from the context of trying to minimize our costs. So with the nitrogen, it tells us 10 for one ingredient, and then two for ingredient two, phosphate, six and six and then for potassium well nothing for ingredient one and we have one for ingredient two okay so once again um, we have identified our objective function which of course is going to be minimization that's the cost three for uh, ingredient one and five dollars for ingredient two we've identified constraints we've been able to identify the minimum requirements in ounces for the nitro nitrogen phosphates and potassium so once again in regard to not so friendly mac utilizing our qm we go up to tools solver Asking it to solve. Another drop down menu, solver results. Uh, we can get various and sundry reports. We'll just keep it to default, keep solver solution. Okay, we get our results. We get our results. So the cost to minimize, the cost to minimization is that we know is going to be, we'll say $22. And we know our optimal output solution, optimal output solution will be to what? Four pounds, a product one or ingredient one and two pounds for ingredient two with a cost of $22, which meets our requirements, our minimum requirements of 20 ounces, 36 ounces, and two ounces. So once again, this is dealing with minimization. Our optimal output solution will be to go out and get four pounds of ingredient one, two pounds of ingredient two, and that will cost us of $22, minimization, lowest cost to us, the firm.